are we stopping? Darned upset stomach. We'll have to turn back. When upset stomach strikes, tender walls of both the stomach and the lower digestive tract become irritated, and you have that well-known stomach ache. I thought you had an upset stomach. Ah. Hey, hi, what's going on, gang? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. This channel contains videos that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So please do share this channel. Please subscribe for me down below. Subscribing is where the support does come from. And being that it's April, it is IBS Awareness Month. I'm pretty sure a lot of us are aware of IBS and what it is. IBS is Irritable Bowel Syndrome. This is one of those things that I've been very successfully helping people overcome way more easily than they thought they might for so many years. I absolutely can't not share this info. IBS is seen as one of those normal things. It sure isn't normal that we sometimes get. Just one of those things people have, you either have it or you don't, and if you do, you just kind of live with it. You just help ease your symptoms. Nope. Stop it. Get some help. IBS is not a normal thing that any of us should be having. A lot of people have IBS that really don't need to be having it and can get rid of it so much more easily than otherwise was thought. When you go to the doctor to discuss IBS, the allopathic regular family general practitioner doctor, what they're going to do is zero in on those symptoms, help you deal with the symptoms without searching for the root cause of where IBS is coming from for you as an individual because all of our bodies are completely different. Nowadays, a lot of people will take medicine if they have the acid reflux, just anything to kind of put it off. The whole conventional medical system is based on treating the symptoms. That's why people are on medications for years to come mm -hmm. and uh, the problem is never gets resolved because we are treating symptoms. Having a Western medical training myself, I can tell you we are treating the symptoms. We are not getting to the root problem. That's how the system has been set up. Right. That's how the education is, is being done. The whole system is based on chasing the symptoms. Technically, nobody, when you treat the symptoms, gets cured. So the cure rate, why you treat the symptoms is zero. And getting to the root problem means uh, the patient problem can be corrected long term. The root causes of IBS though, pretty much the same across the board from what I've seen in my own practice. The number one cause of IBS are food allergies or intolerances and food sensitivities that you may not realize you even have. Oftentimes a lot of people do have sensitivities or intolerances that they're not quite aware of and these things will irritate the bowel and cause all those yucky IBS symptoms such as chronic pain. One thing that can alert you to the presence of IBS is if you have chronic abdominal pain, sudden need for bowel movement, among some of the more annoying symptoms of IBS is the sensation that you suddenly have to go to the bathroom. Many people who experience this sensation also report the feeling of not being finished when they do get a chance to break away from their responsibilities for a moment. Intensification during menstruation. For women, IBS can be a very difficult experience because a large percentage of women report that the symptoms of IBS intensify during times of menstruation. One of the main issues that causes food intolerances, sensitivities, and allergies is inflammation in the gut. The leading cause of inflammation in the gut is stress. So it really does help to keep that stress in check to help your digestive issues along. Another thing that causes IBS is unbalanced gut bacteria, also known as intestinal dysbiosis. This usually means an overgrowth of the gut bacteria candida. We all have levels of gut bacteria that can be healthy for us, however, these can tend to grow out of control, leading to things like SIBO, which means small intestine bacterial overgrowth. This is so unbelievably common. There is a test called the spit test that can be done at home. This test is not medically recognized. However, what you would do is at night before you go to bed, get a small cup of water. You're going to gather up saliva in your mouth Spit it gently into the water. Go to sleep. When you wake up the next morning, see what's gone on with that saliva. It should stay at the top of the water in a cohesive blob. 
If you see strings of saliva reaching down from the top, cloudy specks in the water, or cloudy saliva that sinks to the bottom of the cup overnight, you then should be looking into having candida protocol done on your gut. If you want any help with that or have any questions, please comment below. I would be absolutely delighted to help anyone there. I am out here for you. Help me help you. Candida overgrowth is caused by an imbalance of sugars, whether that be alcohol, it could be eating too many sugary foods to non-sugary foods, and especially antibiotics. Think about the word antibiotic. This is why we need probiotics to help recolonate our gut with healthy bacteria. Even one round of antibiotics as a child can wreak havoc on the gut and cause candida later on in life. So that's another area of IBS that I see a lot in my clients. And general inflammation issues in the gut. The five most inflammatory substances are alcohol, gluten, which is anything made from wheat, barley, or rye, pasteurized dairy, refined sugar, corn, and soy. So if you do have IBS, if anybody comes to me with IBS, the first thing I tell them is to absolutely, completely avoid any processed food with refined sugar, alcohol, gluten, wheat, barley, rye, corn, soy, pasteurized dairy for a minimum of three weeks, and you will notice likely huge changes in the way your poor little bowels are treating you. So it really can be as easy as that. Like I say, it's not necessarily the exact same reason for everyone, but those are the absolute root causes of any case that I have personally seen of IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. If you want any more information on that or would like any help, please do comment below. Again, please subscribe to this channel. And if you would like notifications of future videos as they're posted, please hit that little bell notification icon down below and you'll be sent a notification each time I do post a new video. Until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life and have super amounts of fun making your body healthier so that you can have more fun in your life. And until next time, see you then. Bye.